Now, what is up, my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we will finish off our search result list, at least the static part of it. So we're already pretty good. We already have pretty much everything laid out. The only thing we still need is we need to display the total amount of reviews next to this rating component, right? So let's quickly check the screenshot. Yes, we still need this text here, but that should be pretty easy. Let's go to our code editor and let's just add a paragraph here. And let's just say 724 reviews. Okay, so now we have the total amount of reviews here, but uh, it's a little bit too big, isn't it? And also the spacing is not quite right. So let's take care of that immediately. We go to our code editor to our business rating.css file. And in here we will just say, uh, wait, maybe let's show the other file first. So in here we have a flex container that lies out its flex items horizontally. And what we can just do is we can say every, con every flex item that we have inside this container, please give it a proper margin, like a margin right. And like so, we can space out the elements. And uh, we do this by just say dot rating, and then we say greater than, and then star. So that means every direct descendant of rating, meaning every flex item, will get a margin right of four pixels. Now that should look slightly better, yes. You can already see, yeah, the spacing is a little bit better but the font size is still a little bit too large in my opinion. So yeah, if you look at it, I think in the screenshots it's slightly smaller, but maybe that's just my impression. Okay, let's go back to the editor and let's just say all paragraphs in, uh, inside our uh, rating uh, flex container will get a font size of 0.85 RAM. So this will reduce the font size a little bit. And yes, it looks a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. Nice. So I would say in terms of components, that's pretty much it. I think they're also properly aligned because we use this uh, align items center. So our paragraph is properly aligned with our rating component in a vertical way. And now the only thing what we need to do is we need to align all those items with the rest of this page. And remember the way we did this previously was we just uh, gave th these elements here a maximum width and then we just centered them inside a flex container. And this is exactly what we are going to do as well. So right now we don't care that much about responsiveness. Uh, let's just work something out and then later on we can improve it. So let's go to our search. Um, I think it was search results. Yes, to our search results like plural file. In here we have um, a div with this class search results. And then here we just have like every direct descendant has a margin top so that elements are spaced out. But we actually want to have search results as a flex container. And if we display it as flex, something interesting will happen. Yes. <laughs> so the flex container is going to put its elements like next to each other horizontally because our flex direction is currently row. But we actually want our elements to be stacked. And that's why we will change the flex direction to column. Okay, so right now our elements will be put beneath it, underneath each other. And one more thing we need to do, we need to properly center all of these. But before we do that, let's just give them the proper um, height or width and height. So we can say uh, max width, 1,100 pixels. 
So remember, this is our magic number. And then with with 100%, I say, okay, take all the available space that you could possibly get. And then inside here, inside our search results uh, file, we can say, okay, please now center all these items horizontally. And we do this by saying align items center. And yeah, that looks really, really nice. So if we compare this with the screenshot we already have, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not dynamic yet, but apart from that, I'm like pretty satisfied with what we have right now. Cool, so that's it for this video. We're done with building out this static part of our application. In the upcoming videos, we can start building out the dynamic part, and that includes data fetching from the real Yelp API and displaying all the results. So I'm already looking forward to that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also, yeah, one more thing, we forgot to push, right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes we forget to push. So let's just say git status, git add dash a, <laughs> git commit dash m search results and then git push. So where was I? Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any ideas or comments, like please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.